Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne Wyoming Urban Gardener. This is just a little bonus video of a small recipe that I wanted to share with everyone. I'm going to be making some guacamole and we do it a little bit differently than um, some other people that I know. We add a lot more cumin to our guacamole just to get a lot more flavor into it than a lot of other folks. So what I've done is I've gotten about six avocados and I just separated them out and as you can see I use a potato masher to go in and mash that make it all nice and creamy because with avocados that are nice and soft and you definitely want your avocados to be nice and ripe and a trick with getting your avocados ripe if they if you get them from the store and they're still really light green or something like that um, now ones that are really extremely light green you'll have to leave them sitting for a couple of days until they ripen up quite a bit and leave them sitting out. Don't put them in the refrigerator or anything like that. But with ones that are, well, on the verge of being ripe, but they're still too firm to use, you can actually just put those in a warm oven and leave them sitting for a couple of hours. And then take them out, put them on the counter, leave them overnight, and those will ripen pretty much overnight. So that's a little trick with that. It's something I learned a long time ago. So we just got those into a bowl and we're mashing them all up, getting them all nice and creamy. And then I have some of my other vegetables here that I'm gonna be putting in. I put in about a half of a large onion. So I have that here, it was left over from some soup that I did the other day. So I've got a half of a large onion. I've got a couple of limes. I use the lime juice in mine. And I have one tomato. Now I may need to open up some diced tomato in a can because this is the only fresh tomato that I have. So we will get that all chopped up really finely and we'll get it into there and you'll see that in just a moment. So there we have our onion that's nice and finely chopped. You can see how tiny the pieces are. Get that all finely chopped. And another trick or tip is please do not let these little pieces of onion fall onto the floor when you're chopping them up on a chopping board. Sometimes they have a tendency to roll off of a counter one way or the other. So just make sure that they don't do that if you have pets, dogs specifically. Um, onions are actually poisonous to dogs and I know a lot of people give their larger dogs onions and garlic in very small amounts. It might be that you can get away with that with large dogs, but with small dogs, it's, it's a no-go. I had my oldest toy poodle get extremely violently sick. She got hemorrhagic gastroenteritis which is basically bloody stools like crazy all over our house because she got a hold of an onion skin. And it was very much my fault at the time. The onions were somewhere that she could reach them and she just thought they were food like everything else. So we nearly lost her at that point. And unfortunately, she did pass away recently. And that's one of the reasons why I have not been on YouTube lately and hadn't uploaded any videos in a little while. Um, she was 12 years old and she had started breathing really heavily and we took her to the vet and she had heart failure. Um, and then she was in the final stages of it. She, they, they told me she was going to die. So unfortunately we had to make a tough decision and um, just not let her suffer. And that was Thumbelina. You've seen her in some of the videos. She was the smartest little dog. And yes, I get emotional about it because we did have to um, we did we did cremate her and um, we have her urn here and um, I'll show you her picture here in just a moment. And this is why I have not uploaded videos in a little bit is because we lost her. And I see um, the channel James Prigioni with his little dog Tuck. As you know, Thumbelina was in my garden quite often. And she would get her own carrots and things like that and eat her own carrots. She would dig them up, actually, and eat her own carrots. Um, and we lost her recently. So it's been very hard. Even though she was a dog, she was very, very much loved. And we set up a little sort of a shrine to her here on our mantle. So that was our little dog, Thumbelina. And I apologize for that. It's just very emotional to talk about her. With it being so new. So shout out to Thumbelina, wherever her spirit is. And now we have our lime juice added in. And that actually just keeps 
this it not only gives a little bit of flavor but it also keeps the guacamole from turning brown because avocados of course can turn brown if they are exposed to air for any length of time so that will keep this from turning brown and keep it nice and fresh in the fridge for a while and now we have our finely chopped tomato in there we're just going to go ahead and get that mixed in that was actually quite a large uh, Roma tomatoes. So I'm just mixing this in to see if we have enough. Um, it may not be, so I may have to add in some diced tomatoes from a can because um, you want to get as much of that tomato flavor as you can into that. It just lends to the flavor so much. And also what I add in that um, many people do not is I'll add in some onion powder and some garlic powder. And if you look down in there, you can see we added in some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and a little bit of pepper. Just a little bit of pepper, just to give it a little bit extra flavor. Um, not very much, probably less than even a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And about a half a teaspoon of some garlic powder and onion powder. And about a teaspoon of salt in there. And we just give it a good mix in. And now we're getting ready to add in some of our cilantro, which will have to be dried cilantro because I do not have any fresh right now. I'm getting ready to start some seeds inside and we'll see if we get any um, cilantro, which I did last season inside. And that is some of our own cilantro that we dried from our garden. And we just have it into here. And then we'll go ahead and get that mixed in as well. And here is my cumin powder. Um, I get powdered cumin to put into my guacamole. And I get this, here's another tip for you. If you go to an Asian grocery store, you can usually get cumin powder so much cheaper than if you go to a regular store like Walmart or your local grocery stores, things like that. Just go to an Asian grocery store if you have one near you or an Indian grocery store and you'll find cumin powder in large packages. This is basically the final bits of a large package that I had. You can tell I had a quart full of cumin powder. We have used that much and it's been in only a couple of years. So we keep mine in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna go ahead and put in, now here's the surprise, about two heaping teaspoons of cumin powder into six avocados, some tomato, basically one tomato that's been chopped up finely, and a half of a large onion, and that was a sweet onion, a Walla Walla onion that I had went in and chopped in into here. So we're going to put two teaspoons of the cumin powder into the mixture. So there you have it, is the cumin powder that's been in there, and we'll just go ahead and get that mixed in. Again, that was two teaspoons of cumin powder into this mixture. And now I added in about a teaspoon of minced garlic into this. We like a lot of garlic and a lot of onion in our stuff. So we've got that added in and I may add in a little bit more cilantro. I've already taste tested it and I think it needs a little bit more cilantro. So we'll add another teaspoon of cilantro into the mix. But basically, there you have it some guacamole and it is so so delicious so flavorful and you can add chili powder or um, any type of hot pepper powder that you want to add to this if you like to spice it up a little bit um, we have a lot of heartburn issues so we don't spice things up as much as probably some others do so we won't be adding any of that to this but you could also add Tabasco sauce um, any number of things in here if you want to give it a kick so anyway, that is my guacamole recipe. Hope everybody enjoyed that. I will be posting all the information in the description down below. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for notices on new videos as they come out. And I hope you enjoyed this little bonus video. You could use this for the holidays, um, for somebody to, or a group of people, a party or whatever else, to enjoy prior to the big meal. So we'll see you in the next one.